Hi, this is Greg Benz with an overview on how to install the Lumenzia and Lumenzia Basics extension panels for Photoshop on the Macintosh system. If you're using a Windows computer, then you want to make sure you look at the video for the Windows installation. It is slightly different. Uh, this video is specific to Macintosh. So once you've purchased Lumenzia, you'll have an email with a link to download the Lumenzia file. It will give you a zip file that looks something like this where it has the version number in it. Everything you need to get going is in this file. So simply double click on it or right click and choose open. And that will create this extracted folder here and everything you need is within it. There is a how to install doc in Word document format as well as in PDF, the license terms, the assets, which is the actual software code for Lumenzia, uh, exported presets, which is a way to configure your desktop. There's a separate video showing how to use that if you wish, it's completely optional. The training and overview, which contains a copy of this video, as well as the Lumenzia user guide. It's the written manual for Lumenzia, the button reference, uh, which explains all the shortcut keys, and then PDF versions of those as well. Uh, so really the only key file you need to install is this install Lumenzia JSX bin file. This is a script that will tell Photoshop how to install Lumenzia. To use it, we just drag and drop it into Photoshop and I'm gonna drag it over this image uh, and we're gonna see an error message here. And that's because you can't run this if there's a picture open in Photoshop. So I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna close this. So just remember, it's important to have nothing open in Photoshop uh, to, to use this script. So now I'm gonna drag and drop it back in. And now we go straight to the installer. So everything looks good. And I have it automatically pre-checked to install Lumenzia and Lumenzia Basics. If you don't want one of these panels, then you can simply uncheck it. But by default, they'll both be installed. You just simply have to check the accept the license terms and click install. And that's it. So it's installed Lumenzia and it's installed Basics and we are done. Uh, now, if we look under window extensions, we won't see them yet. That's because we need to restart. So let's just simply quit Photoshop. And when we come back into Photoshop, those will be in there for us. So again, uh, I'm gonna go to window extensions and this time we can see both basics and I'll go back and Lumenzia. So you just need to go up to that window extensions and pick the panel you want to open. Now we see it over here and we can move it wherever we want. I typically like to drag and drop these right up top and put both Lumenzia and Basics together in one little group. Very easy. I can always double click to hide and open it back up and they're always there when I need them. Of course, if you choose, you can dock them into these little side panels like this. It's, it's really whatever you want it to be. And if for any reason you ever close these or they just didn't show up, remember, go back to Window, Extensions, and Lumenzia or Basics to grab the panel you want. And that's it. At this point, if you click on any of these buttons and it works, and if I had an image, it would do something. In this case, it's just giving me an error message to open an image. Uh, if you see that, you're good to go. Uh, if it doesn't do anything or you get an error message about a digital signature, then you should restart the, the process. Uh, typically, if you have any sort of error message about a, a digital signature, that would indicate you may not have copied all the files or somehow changed them. And the simplest thing to do is just start over from scratch, open up the zip file and try again. You may want to go look at the uh, manual installation folder and remove anything that's been previously installed. And I'll show that in a second. Uh, but generally speaking, at this point, you'd be done. Now, if you're on an older version of Photoshop, that would be CS6 up through CC 2014.1. There's one more step that you probably need to take. And that is if you click on the vibrance or saturation buttons, you may see an error message about the optional multi plugin. Uh, that's just an, an extra add in to Photoshop that's applied or uh, supplied from Adobe. You need to install that for Lumenzia to be able to use these two buttons. If you're on CC 2014.2 or later, so anything in the CC 2015 family, uh, you're good to go already. But if you have an older version, you may want to install those. So to do that, let's go back to our Lumenzia folder and let's open up this installation document here. And when we open this up, we're gonna scroll down to the very end of it and there is this instructions on how to install the multi plugin here. Uh, so what we need to do is download the appropriate files. So click on the link for Mac and it's already asking me to save the file in my browser. And so now I have the source file. When I go back to my downloads folder, I can see the optional multi plugin. And if I double click it, I'll get a new window that shows me its contents. 
So these are a whole bunch of different plugins for Photoshop. This is the one I need, the optional multi plugin. We just need to copy it to the right spot. And if we look in the documentation here for the Mac system on Photoshop CC, this is the folder that we're going to want. So I'm going to copy this, go back to the finder. Note, I don't see the go menu yet. If I click on the finder, I've got the go menu. Uh, I want to say file new finder window. So this is where I'm going to put my copy of it. Go back up, say go, go to folder. And then I just need to paste in that link that I just copied. So this purple link, put it in here, say go, and that will take this window straight to the destination folder. And you can see that I've previously installed the optional multi plugin. Um, it's already listed here. But if you hadn't, you would just simply take it, drag it and drop it. Um, I'm just going to replace it. Um, but once it shows up here, then you're good to go. It will be in Photoshop ready to use and you shouldn't see any error message here. You do need to restart Photoshop after you've copied this in. Uh, and one other thing you can do to test that it's in there, in Photoshop, uh, make sure you have some kind of uh, file open, doesn't matter what it is. So you can go to the filter menu, look at other, and if you see this HSB slash HSL, then you know that you have the optional multi plugin installed. So if you don't see this here, or if you get an error message when you click on vibrance and saturation, then most likely you've either not put the optional multi plugin on your computer or you put it in the wrong folder or maybe you put it in for a different version of Photoshop. So just check that. Um, but at that point, you should be completely good to go. Uh, there is the possibility on some computers that you have security settings that won't allow this script to run. So if we go back here, um, I'm just going to clean up this window a little bit. The install Lumenzia JSX bin file here. If you drag this into Photoshop and it won't run, you get some sort of error message in the process, then you may need to do a manual installation. And that's actually a very easy thing to do because all you need to do is grab the appropriate source folder out of assets and copy it to the right destination folder on your computer and that's it. So installing a Lumenzia is as simple as copying a folder. So we need to find the source folder and that will be for Lumenzia in the Lumenzia folder or basics in the basics folder. And then you'll see these three subfolders. Flash is where the version is for CS6. So if you're on CS6, this is the folder you want to copy. Don't copy Flash. Don't copy the subcontents. Just literally grab the one that says Lumenzia. If you're on CC, CC2014 or CC2014.15, um, then you want to click on the HTML and you want this com.lumenzia.ext folder. Again, it's just a single folder in one of these flash for CS6, HTML for anything that's part of the Creative Cloud family. And you're going to simply make a copy of this in the destination folder. So we need to create a new window where we can copy that. And we need to figure out where to send this thing. And again, if we go back to the installation instructions, the destination folders are listed here. So I'm going to go up and there's a section for manual installation. So this installation option number four, manual installation, you'll see the folders listed here under the OSX section. I just need to find the appropriate version. So let's say I wanted to install for Photoshop CC. I'm just going to take this part in red text here. I want to copy it, go back to the finder, say go, go to folder, make sure I paste it in here, say go. And I see a blank folder here because I don't have any extension panels installed in CC at this time. If you had something else installed, then you may see some folders in here. Uh, but don't worry that it's blank. We just need to grab Lumenzia and drag and drop it. I'm going to hold down the Alt key so you see this little plus. That means I'm making a copy just so I don't remove it from here. Uh, it doesn't matter if you move it. That's fine as well. Either way, it's going to work. Once you've put it in here, it's good to go. Don't touch any of these files, don't change any of these files, or you'll corrupt the panel and you'll have to reinstall. If you ever did need to reinstall, very simple. You just go to this destination. You can simply delete anything. This is com.lumenzia. There'd be one folder for each panel and just move it to the trash and start again. So I'm going to, again, install Lumenzia and I'm going to go to Lumenzia Basics. Again, HTML because I'm looking for this, the panel for Creative Cloud and just copy this over here. So I've got one folder for each panel. And uh, now I just need to go to uh, Photoshop CC. 
uh, which is where we've installed this and we'll see that it's installed by going up to window extensions and we've got our panels ready to go here. So if they've opened up again, uh, if they're running, you're good to go. They're completely installed uh, and that's, that's all there is to it.